Aren't these Valentine's gnomes the cutest things you ever did see? Hi y'all, welcome to Daily Dose of DIY. My name is Chris and today I'm going to show you how to make these darling Valentine's Day gnomes. I have a free SVG file for you that you can grab to make these. Plus, this is a great project for your scrap pieces of cardstock and I will show you how to move things around on the mat. Let's head on over and take a look at all the supplies you'll need to make them. So to make the Valentine gnomes, you are going to need some cardstock. I've got solid core cardstock here, which means the inside matches the outside color and you don't get that white on the inside. Um, this is a great project to use your scrap on. You'll need some red, black. I'm using a light pink, a dark pink, and white. You'll also want some fine tip glue. You'll probably need your spatula to get it off the mat. And if you're using the hanging one, you'll need some twine. You also need to grab the free SVG file. So you, to do that, I will put the link in the description down below. You just click get my free SVGs, fill out your first name, email, send my password, and we will send you the password to the free resource library right away where you'll find the Valentine Gnome SVGs plus hundreds more. Let's go into Cricut now and take a look at these SVGs from Design Space. You're going to click upload. If you need help downloading and uploading these SVGs, just reach out to me. Let me know. I have plenty of tutorials on that. I'm going to select the SVG and add to canvas. Now you get two different versions of these gnomes. The first one, once it comes in here, it doesn't have a hole on the top um, to thread string through. So if you prefer to put them on a card or something else, you'd want to choose those. First thing you want to do is ungroup on the top of the right layers menu, and then you can delete the ones you don't want. So I think I'm going to get the ones with the string. So I'm just going to select all these top ones. Once they're selected, hit the delete button. And then there's nothing else you need to do unless you want to resize and make them bigger. They come in at about six inches by three inches. So then you can click the make it button. It will show us the mats. If you're using scrap paper, you just want to make sure everything will fit on your scrap. So you can actually, if you did not know, just grab things and move it around on your mat to make sure it's going to fit on the paper we have. I'm just going to take a look at all of them. I think they're good. We're going to see where the red is. Yes, I can put all of them sideways. And then make sure you go back up and select a mat one because Cricut will cut first whichever mat you left selected. And if you don't go back and select mat one, you might load your white and it's actually going to cut the red down there. We don't want that to happen. Then you can click continue. If you have a Cricut Explorer, set your dial to card stock. I'm getting my maker turned on because I know it's going to say it's not going to connect. I'm just going to browse all materials and select cardstock off my list. We will head over now and get these cuts. Okay, since the white paper is first, I'm just going to start in that top upper corner and line it up, then smooth it down. Make sure it's stuck well. Cardstock's not very forgiving, so make sure you have a good clean mat if there's any bumps underneath it, your paper will tear. I'm going to go through and load and cut all these mats and then we will come back and get it put together. Okay, we're done cutting all the colors and you want to make sure when you're removing the pieces from your mat, you flip your mat over and gently peel it back. That will help the pieces just pop right off and you'll reduce your chances of curling and tearing. Before you start gluing, you want to put all your pieces in order. It might be helpful to go back into the design space and look at the picture. This way we don't put the glue on the wrong side and have to recut our project. Okay, now that we know how the pieces go, I'm just going to slide them off the base so we don't mess up the sizing. And you want to start at the bottom. So we're going to start with gluing on the feet. Next, we'll glue on the dress and then the hat. Next, glue on the hair and then we'll glue on the bows, the nose, and the heart. The hair should actually go under the hat, so I should have done that one first, but we can still slide it underneath there. Mm -hmm. 
And then we'll do the same for the boy nose. How adorable are these? Now I'm going to add the string so we can hang them. How precious are these Valentine's gnomes? Thank you so much for hanging out with me and crafting today. Be sure to get your free SVG files. The link is in the description down below and I will see you on the next video. God bless.